Our team has been following this story since last month when the suitcases were first found. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Liz Kidantes. And I'm Jim Grimes. We start tonight in Delray Beach. This is a picture of the suitcases found in the Intracoastal last month, along with a rendering of the woman police have been working to identify. Yeah, we have team coverage. CBS 12's chief investigator, Mike Magnoli, he's live outside the storage unit where police found a bloody chainsaw. But we begin with our Al Pefley, who's joining us from the Delray Beach Police Department with the very latest there. Jim, it's been a little less than two weeks since three suitcases were found floating in the Intracoastal waterway containing parts of a dead body. Now police say they have the killer behind bars. Police say 78-year-old William Lowe Jr. of Delray Beach murdered and dismembered his wife of 15 years, Ideal Barbosa Fontes. After Lowe cut her body into pieces, investigators believe he put the remains into three suitcases, a tote bag, and a purse, and dumped them in the Intracoastal waterway. Documents indicate her name was on an airline baggage sticker still attached to one of the suitcases. Luckily for detectives, Lowe kept returning to the scene of the crime. Detectives conducted neighborhood canvases and developed multiple witnesses that were able to supply information in reference to a vehicle and a subject that was seen in the area multiple times prior to the suitcases being located. Police spotted this gold Ford Taurus that witnesses had described and got the car's license plate number, which led them to Lowe. When detectives searched the condo Lowe shared with his wife, they say there was blood everywhere. I'd say this is probably the worst I've seen. Lowe was charged with first-degree murder and abuse of a human body. His attorney tells CBS 12 News Lowe is a Marine veteran who served in Vietnam and was awarded the Purple Heart, adding the suspected murderer has no prior criminal history. Now they're saying the 78-year-old man was able to do all these heinous things, and uh, we look forward to investigating this and, and proving that he's not guilty. So you're saying the police have it all wrong? Well, I don't know. We, we, we can't rush to judgment. Police say they have no actual surveillance video that shows Lowe putting the suitcases in the Intracoastal waterway. Lowe is being held without bond. Live in Delray Beach, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. This investigation also revealed the suspect, William Lowe, had a storage unit in Delray Beach. And as I-Team Chief Investigator Mike Magnolia reports, what detectives found inside answered one of the central questions about this murder. Mike? Hi, Liz. They found a chainsaw here. That's the tool that they say Lowe used to cut up his uh, wife's body, put it into pieces so that it would fit into her luggage. This is security storage of Delray. Mr. Lowe was renting Unit 88. Delray Beach police say once they identified William Lowe as the likely suspect and his wife, the victim in the suitcases in the Intracoastal, they had one more stop to make after they left the couple's Venetian Drive apartment building. <laughs> they came here to Georgia Street, a self-storage facility 10 minutes away from the couple's condo. Detectives say they had found the cover for a Ryobi chainsaw, like these, inside the Lowe's home. And indeed, here at Mr. Lowe's storage unit, they found the saw itself, still covered in blood and hair. Also in the unit, a small Coleman cooler with red marks on the cover and stains inside. While our previous reports talked about three suitcases used in this crime, we now know there were five bags in all, containing legs, a torso, a pelvis, and a tote bag wrapped up with a man's belt containing the victim's head. All bags weighed down with landscaping rocks. One of the bags had rocks inside of a cheesecake factory bag. Back at the apartment building, neighbors told police that in early July, they saw a trail of a dark liquid that led from the Lowe's apartment to the door of his sister's apartment upstairs. And one witness assumed it was some kind of spilled soup. A building employee reported he cleaned it up with 409. A lot of gruesome details there, but this physical evidence is going to be critical as detectives and prosecutors move this case forward against Mr. Lowe. We're live in Delray Beach. I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News. CBS 12 News went to the neighborhood where the alleged murder took place. We talked to neighbors about the arrest. Take a listen. It's horrific. Plain and simple. It shouldn't happen anywhere in the world, but that it happened right here in Delray Beach is just so startling. What could make a person do that? Nothing. CBS 12 News has a lot more on this developing story. You can read about the disturbing details of the arrest by heading to our website at cbs12.com. Click on this story.